Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about something pretty controversial, and that is the fact that Grand Theft Auto 5 has actually been banned in Australia by their retailer Target for the subject of violence against women. So this is going to be a very discussion-heavy video, so be sure to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And if you agree with my discussion, be sure to leave a like on the video. That'd be awesome. And also subscribe if you are new. I do daily GTA 5 videos, and I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of my next-generation content. But let's get started. So that's right, Australian retailer Target, which is also an American store as well, and I'm sure is worldwide, they have actually banned Grand Theft Auto V from being sold in their stores and on their website for the case of violence against women. So Target came out on Wednesday, and like I mentioned, they said they were going to stop selling Grand Theft Auto V for the game's depictions of violence against women. They also said that they've done extensive community and customer research, and they say they have concerns about the game's content and mature level of what goes on in the game. Now, before I go any further, I just want to clarify that violence against women is a terrible thing. Domestic violence, violence in general, is very bad. You've probably seen it in the news lately with NFL stars like Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson. You know, it's all over the place right now. And it, before I go any further, I want to say I do not condone this at all. Violence against women, and like I said, violence in general is a terrible thing. So I don't want to come across as if I'm promoting this to be okay. But I do think that Target's claims are absolutely outrageous. And the fact that they're taking it out on a game like Grand Theft Auto V really just kind of gripes me in the wrong way because I have had issues with, you know, major media outlets and now retailers using video game as a scapegoat for a problem that exists way more elsewhere and is much more significant in other outlets. So the Take-Two CEO, Strauss Zelnick, he has an opinion on this as well. He essentially said that they're disappointed in Target's choice to not sell Grand Theft Auto V, a title that has obviously won critical acclaim and has been enjoyed by tens of millions of people, and yes, has mature themes to a but that's also written on the game. You know, it is a mature game for a reason, and you're given the option to play this game. This game is not forced upon you. It's not, you know, thrown in front of your television or computer monitor every day. You know, you choose to play Grand Theft Auto V, and you can make a choice to, you know, interact with these mature themes that comes along with a mature rating. He also makes a great point that video games, like other outlets such as books, television and movies have a you know creative freedom about them that allows them to do what they want and consumers can like I said choose to play them if they wish no one is forced to do this but probably my biggest issue with this is that Grand Theft Auto 5 doesn't really show any actions of violence against women yes are there strip clubs in the game yes there's prostitution of course there are non-player characters or NPCs that are women that you can kill or shoot but you can do that with anyone you can choose that to do that with a man you can blow up cars and yes there's there's going to be other games that have that as well. And there's also movies and books that openly portray violence against not only men, but women, but children. So I think that Target and kind of making this public announcement that saying Grand Theft Auto V is the bad guy is the total wrong idea. You know, huge news outlets like Fox News, CNN, you know, all these huge media outlets, they do the same thing when they talk about like children, you know, shooting up a school or, you know, you know, taking a car and running over, you know, a few cars in a parking lot. You know, they always point the finger at Grand Theft Auto V. They don't point the finger at society or, you know, the home that the children or whoever was raised in or in this case, you know, what people might doing on a national stage in terms of domestic violence. They always point the finger at video games. And of course, Grand Theft Auto V, because of its mature nature, is typically at the helm of that, you know, criticism. So I think it's very unfair for Target and the world to see GTA V in a very negative light because it is a game that I love. I love the Grand Theft Auto series. I do YouTube videos on it. You know, when I tell people I'm a YouTuber, I want to be proud to say that I play GTA 5. I don't want to have to hear people say like, oh, is that the game that promotes violence against women? Or that's the game where, you know, you can have first person sex or prostitution. Yes, is that part of the game? It is, but it comes along with the first person and, you know, it comes along with the mature title tag that is connected to GTA. So again, no one is forcing you to play GTA and I think that Target's claims are absolutely outrageous but again it's just something that the media does they don't like to point the finger at themselves or at society or at the home they like to point it at the scapegoat which in this case is grand theft auto 5 and video games in general so again let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i'm really interested to hear from you guys be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video